I want to talk to you about simplifying fractions, or what's sometimes called canceling fractions. Uh, so let's start with the basics. 5 divided by 5 is what? It's 1, right? Any number divided by itself is just 1. So negative 1,131 divided by itself, again, is just 1. What about fractions? Something like 3 sevenths divided by 3 sevenths. Well, a fraction is just a number, and so we're dividing it by itself, so we get 1. What about 0? Zero? 0 divided by 0. Well, this is not equal to 1. This is the only exception, and it's because we can't divide by 0. If we tried to divide by 0, the, the universe would split open and your mother would cry. It just would be terrible. So 0 divided by 0 is undefined. And that's the only exception. So we end up with this nice little rule. If a is not equal to 0, then a divided by itself is equal to 1. So what does this have to do with canceling fractions? Well, let's see a, a really simple example. 2 divided by 4 is the same thing as 2 times 1 divided by 2 times 2. Well, because we know the way fractions multiply, that's the same as 2 over 2 times 1 over 2. But 2 over 2, we just talked about, that's just 1. So we're left with 1 times 1 over 2, or in other words, 1 half. And 1 times anything is just that thing, so we're just left with 1 half. So it took us quite a few steps, but we simplified 2 fourths to 1 half. Let's see another example. 6 over 27. Well, 6 is 3 times 2, and 27 is 3 times 9. And again, we can split this up into two fractions. So we end up with 3 divided by 3 times 2 divided by 9. The 3 over 3, that just becomes a 1. So we're left with 1 times 2 over 9, which of course is just a 2 over 9. So at this is taking a lot of writing. It takes quite a few steps. So maybe we want to abbreviate this. We know how everything's going to work out. We're going to end up multiplying by 1. So instead of writing out those steps, we're going to do something like this. Let's see, it. Let's see this again uh, only with an abbreviation. So 6 over 27 is 3 times 2 over 3 times 9. And we know that 3 is going to cancel to 1. So we'll just cross it out. And that's an abbreviation for those steps underlined in orange. And we end up with two nines. Okay, so this can actually be really useful. Let's combine simplifying fractions, uh, what we're doing in this video, with some things we've already learned. What if we had something like 3 times 3 over 47 times 2 over 13 Sorry, 13 times 3 over 47 times 2 over 13 times 47. Well, it looks like the 13 in the denominator there and the, the 13 on the left maybe will cancel, and the, the 47 in the denominator and the 47 on the right might cancel. So since multiplication is commutative, something we've already learned, we can re rearrange this any way we want. So we'll rearrange it this way. Let's put the 13s together and the 47s together. Also, multiplication is associative, which means we can group it any way we want. So not, let's not only put them next to each other, but let's actually group them. And now we know the way fractions multiply. That's something we've already learned. 3 times 2 over 13 is just, thir or sorry, 13 times 2 over 13 is just 13 times 2 over 13. Uh, we get something similar over on the right hand side. And now we can just cancel. But let's, since this is our first example, let's just go through one more step. So 13 times 2 over 13 times 1, right? 13 is the same as 13 times 1. So we'll just put that 1 in there. And 3 times 47 is the same as 47 times 3. And 47 is the same as 47 times 1. And now we're all set to cancel. So we're just left with 2 over 1 times 3 over 1. Well, 2 over 1 is just 2, and 3 over 1 is just 3. So this is 2 times 3, which is equal to 6. 
And it took us quite a few steps because I wanted to write everything out so we could see how this works. But the, the, the main point here is that uh, we can use all of our rules to, to simplify that, that multiplication. Okay, what if we have addition instead of multiplication? Can we cancel then? Something like this. Well, the answer is definitely no. Doing something like that is wrong. You don't want to do that. Why not? Well, let's see. If we canceled, we'd be left with one-third. So instead of canceling, let's see what happens if we just do this addition and try and simplify. So 5 plus 1 is 6. 5 plus 3 is 8. And then we're left with uh, 6 is 2 times 3. 8 is 2 times 4. And now we know those 2's cancel. And we're just left with 3 fourths. Well, 3 fourths certainly is not the same thing as one third. If we had canceled the fives originally, we would have gotten one third. But of course, three fourths does not equal one third. So that's just an example of why this doesn't work out. Uh, it really it doesn't work out because we need to be multiplying by something over itself. Because when we're multiplying by something over itself, we're really just multiplying by one. And that's where the simplification comes from. But when we have addition, we don't have any multiplication, so we're certainly not multiplying by 1. Okay, see you in the next video.